Hey guys, it's Marlon or Marlon B. And if this is weird, my phone is just propped up against something. I don't have like a legit stand for it. So hopefully um, it gets everything in in the video that I'm showing. Otherwise, I'm sorry guys. So I have one finished project uh, that was the cowl I told you guys I was going to be working on. Um, I showed you guys a red one last time. Uh, this is a paid for pattern. It's the bandana crochet cowl. This is the one I showed you guys last time. Uh, this is for me. And I made a striped version. This is it. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. I got, again, I hope it's, it's all shown in the video or it's a frame or whatever. Uh, so I'm done with that. Uh, the pattern, let me show it to you guys. It is called False Embrace Bandana Cowl. Uh, it is a crochet pattern. Is this even recording? I'm sorry, let me see. Oh yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and it is, again, it is a paid for pattern. I actually don't remember, don't know how much it is. Uh, but it's very easy, very quick. I love it. Uh, I wanted to make a third one, like I said, for my mom and sister. Um, maybe like one more, you know. But I got kind of bored of doing crochet. So I didn't do, I didn't start out one yet, but I do plan to make one. One more anyway. And I only have one work in progress right now. Uh, I am making a pair of my fingerless gloves. It was my pattern for my second pattern this year, I guess, February. Or was it the first pattern? I don't remember. That's so sad. I don't remember when I released it <laughs> a few months ago. Uh, but it's called the Pop Fingerless Gloves. I do have a knit and a crochet version. I'm making a knit version. Uh, and I need to do the thumb, but I have this one completed. And you know, you can fold it down like this. So I'm working on the second one right now. I'm going to finish the second one and then I will be doing the thumbs on, on the pair together or at the same time to finish them off. Um, again, they're called the Pop Fingerless Gloves. Uh, they should be on Ravelry. I will be linking, if I remember, I'll be linking it down below. Otherwise, uh, my name is Malon B on Ravelry or just look up the name, Pop Fingerless Gloves. And again, there is a crochet in a knit version. So far, I only have the bottom ribbing of the second one done. Like I said, once I'm completed, uh, once I complete that, I'll just be doing the thumbs on both and finish them off. I'm using the yarn I showed you guys a couple of videos ago that I dyed uh, myself. And actually, I didn't make a cowl with that yet. I said I wanted to make a cowl in fingerless gloves, but um, I'm going to finish the pair and then see how much I have left. Depending on how much yarn I have left of both skeins, uh, I may or may not make a cowl with that. So that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, relating to the crochet pattern for this month, I am actually still working on it. Um, I need to take some pictures. I need to make sure I like the pattern enough to release it. <laughs> so uh, whenever I'm done with that, I will be probably making an, uh, another update for you guys. Again, just to show it to you. And may, like I said, maybe I'll take some nice pictures or whatever, hopefully. I did want to share with you guys a book I recently checked out from the library. It's called Knit It. And there was a couple of items here that I kind of wanted to make, depending on um, my mood, I guess. Uh, so the first one is another jacket for my son, which he has many of already, but I mean, why not? <laughs> why not, right? It's called Babe in the Hood. It looks like this and the sizes they have up to I believe 24 months or 2t 24 months so I mean my son is still does fit size 2t or I guess last 24 months so I can definitely make one for him I would just need to make of course the arms longer and probably the body longer but these are more pictures of it so that's one item that I thought I was I may be making soonish and then the other one was a sweater for me. And let me find it. It should be an easy enough pattern. I looked over the pattern and it should be very simple. I have never made a sweater like this before. So uh, I'm curious. And also uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. 
it's called let it flow and it's this type of setup i need to see if they have more pictures so you basically just do like a blanket with a couple of holes and those holes become the holes for the sleeves and then you just do the sleeves and that should be it they only have one more picture i think they only have one more picture here so sorry guys if it's not like the best uh you know the best pictures here to show you what it looks like but that's the one i wanted to make so it has just like flowing pieces in the front um it doesn't it's not meant to close it's just you know flowing <laughs> i guess that's why it's called let it flow <laughs> so that's all i'm working on right now guys uh i've been kind of like i said I, once i finished the cowl this one i kind of got bored of crochet and since my pattern for this month is crochet i got bored of that so i wasn't knitting for a while either because the last garter stitch thing i made was also got me bored not of knitting but i just kind of lost my my mojo or whatever a little bit other than that guys that's all i've been doing again if once i do update or finish my patterns for this month i will be making an update with that i hope you guys have an awesome time thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye